Thanks for tuning in to my playthrough of New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe. Your continued support is greatly appreciated, so sit back and enjoy the video, because this is for you. This really has me hungry. This has me extremely hungry. Ravenous for some cake, because the, the thing in front of us right here, here, looks like a cake. You get it? Because it has the candles and anyways. We're going to go to the Layer Cake Desert. This is the Stone Eye Zone. I'm playing as Mario when I meant to switch to Luigi. Oh, mamma mia. It's your boy, Brian Saviano, a.k.a. Bricks O'Brien, the homie, the number one Super Mario player of all time. The greatest. It's not to be questioned ever. Uh, you know, don't doubt me. And yeah, that's it. That's all you got to know. I never have failed at this Nope, that's that's intentional. That that was intentional too. I definitely No, 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 no. You guys are getting it all wrong. Guys and girls, you're getting it all wrong. I didn't mean to hit that question block. That it's all part of the plan. It's all supposed to be that way. Trust me. Um Oh, I met I how did I mess that up? Okay, that I that I actually messed up. That was an actual mistake. Uh, I meant to get a one up right there, but clearly um my my um lack of being able to oh there we go at least i got that right and there's no secret way there i was gonna say my lack of understanding of how um uh, shells work has restricted me from getting a one up which is not an issue right now we have 19 which will soon be 20 unless i die again which is entirely possible you know as as a perfect mario player constantly uh, it's it's important to realize that you know i i do have flaws as flawless as i am i do so, okay. Um, that's a pro tip for you right there. When you're going in the sand and it shoots you up that way, you can actually enter that sand pillar in the middle and it brings you to the top. So you don't have to land on top of it kind of like you would with these guys here. And these... Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Uh, we didn't hit the tippity top. But, you know, that's fine. That's okay. We have 430,000 points. 443,920 points, which points don't matter, okay, as long as you're having fun. Uh, but points don't matter in terms of you getting anything in the game either. That doesn't matter. So, um, oh, it got looted. Uh-oh. What's that? He stole something? Nice little Peter Cottontail rabbit boy stole something. Oh, this is terrible. Some weirdo. <laughs> Weirdo, that's a little rude. Stole a bunch of my stuff, and he's so fast. I'll never catch him. Please, you gotta help me. I'm not obligated to do anything. I'm under no obligation to help anybody at any point ever. Out of the kindness of my perfect heart, I just might. Um, pretty much what you need to do is go after Nabbit back there. Um, I will. Um, do I do it now? Uh, pipes are a surefire answer when you're in a rush. Oh, you can just launch back to the beginning. So those are warp pipes that'll actually uh, help you fast travel between each of the worlds. So I guess we'll do that just to showcase it. Uh, we'll go to the... Nope. We, we're already at the Lair Cake Desert. Nope, Brian. Go back. I know. Oh, and it looks like... It, see, hold on. It looks like melted ice cream cones right there. It's a, it's a melted ice cream cone. It's so... It's making me hungry, too. Okay. So here's Nabbit. So I believe you just need to either catch him or... I forget exactly what you need to do. It's been a long time. Hi, Nabbit. Oh, we have 100 seconds to catch Nabbit. So if we just run, we should be good. Um, come on. Does that help at all? Ooh, okay. So that does. Oh, jeez. And wow, that was easy. Where's the easy button? Oh, no. It's way over there. Oops. So uh, you... you don't just save Nabbit and get nothing. You do get something. The acorn with the P on it, which I don't know what the difference between that and the normal one is. No idea. I am not skilled in that. I should find out. I'm going to find out. And it's not going to be one of those things that I say I'm going to find out and I don't find out. I actually will. I'll research it, which uh, I don't normally do that for videos because I just wing it. But... I'm genuinely curious myself. We're going to get ourselves a couple items here. I am going to go to every single one of these 
things, the huts and everything, just to showcase if they're different at all. I kind of want the mushroom, but I'm going to follow both here. Um, two right, two left. Um, it's uh, middle right. I could just rewind the tape if I wanted to, but I'm confident in my choices. There we go. Choices. 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 No one-ups there. Uh, you'll always get items when you go into the red mushroom huts. You're never going to get one-ups. Uh, and you're only going to get one-ups in the green huts. Huts, one-ups. I feel like that could be like a like a hip-hop. One-up one up in the hut. The green hut. I don't know. Anyways. Uh, which one's first, technically? Um... Okay, this one on the left because they're marked uh, Layer Cake Desert 2, 3, and all that. So there you go. Perilous Pokey Cave. Uh, this will actually be good that we have um, the Fire Flower because it can destroy Pokies in one hit. Um, Pokies are interesting because they can be defeated because they're made out of... Well, they're made out of oranges right there. I don't know if they can be defeated that way, but I don't know if you've... Oh, I forgot. I need to hit them in the head in order to eliminate them in one shot. Gotcha. Okay. So, I don't know if you've noticed or not, but every time we're defeating an enemy, um, or rather, when the music is happening, like, the enemies will react to the music, which is really cool. And that happens in all the uh, new Super Mario Brothers games. It's not just this one. Uh, it's happened all the way since the DS game. Uh, it's really, really cool. And it just, it gives the enemies a little bit more of a personality. So, like, the, um, the Pokies will... Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, oh, I gotta go up on here. Um, the Pokies will switch from being these awful Pokey creatures to being orange Pokey creatures. So that's decent, right? Okay, bats. Bats, no. No bats. Nope. I'm gonna go over here. And there is so much going on. Okay. I go down here. Okay. Really? No, that should have counted as a hit. Really? What is the point of going down there? Because that is not the way to get to the end of the level. That's for darn tootin'. But okay. Um, we will use... Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, uh, we'll go with that. That way, um, we might be able to get the ice flower in this area because the, the the fire flower doesn't help as much uh what do we get here oh we get yoshi which is helpful for the pokies because you can just eat them and that's easy but you always want to aim for the head uh like your thor going for thanos uh aim for the head or okay 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 please come back thank you thank you sir um yeah aim for the head so yeah see because they immediately get destroyed and luckily, Yoshi's tongue extends from here all the way into New York City. So we can just destroy all these guys relatively easily. Cool. But what is the reward for getting out of here? I wonder. Hmm. I wonder. Okay. Ah. That doesn't help. Oh, that's cool. So that helps with uh, you getting items and such when they transform into oranges. Because they are technically then fruit. So that makes sense too. Um, let's see. Is it a secret exit, or it's just uh, a couple coins? Maybe it's a secret exit, or we skipped a portion of the level? I would think. Maybe. Um, I don't know how we can tell it's a secret e exit, but I assume that's a normal one. I don't know. I just, I just go with the flow, you know? We just meow it out and figure it out. I've been really debating on what the meaning of Meow It Out is. Because I've been saying it a Like, that is my catchphrase. A lot of these internet personalities have a catchphrase. A, a something, a, 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 you know, a thing they say. You know, uh, a lot of people say, please buy my merchandise. Or, please give me free money. I don't say that. Because I don't. So, I mean, you can if you want to. But, uh, don't. I would rather have you uh, meow it out. That's my, my term of, uh, uh, you know, my, my action I have for all of you on a day-to-day -day basis. And meowing it out, it doesn't... Glowing light Yoshi? Okay. I forgot that was a thing. Um, grab? 
Oh, I have to hold it. Okay, yep, that's gonna make it more difficult. I gotcha. So you have to hold down Y the entire time, or whatever the um, the right button is, and um, hang on to this guy. So, okay, that just made this whole thing a lot more interesting. Um, let's see here, another glowy Yoshi. Um, and I've been debating on what Meow It Out means because I've been I've been using it a lot with my friends, like just as a term. And a lot of my friends are like, what are you talking about? Like, why do you keep saying that? That's not that's not an actual phrase. Um, and I don't quite know. Well, you know, it just means like you just got to just got to feel feel the moment. I guess you got to relax. You got to uh, you just got to take a chill pill. I think that's what it means. I, if I had to give it a meaning, that's what it would mean. So it's just a, a, a more unique way of saying to chill out. This guy like like cool cats. Like, you're a cool cat. You gotta meow it out like a cool cat, you know? So, I don't own cats, so I'm not a cat person. And how did I miss that one? Okay, sure. Um, why is my phone vibrating? Please stop talking to me. I'm telling people to meow it out. I just ate fire. I just ate fire. Okay, keep that in mind for Glowy Yoshi. Gotcha. That is totally uh, something I'll keep in mind. Keep in mind. Can you eat fire? Yes, you can. Oh, boy. Can I eat you? No, I can't eat you. But I can freeze you. I never freeze. 7,000 uh, meow points to anybody who can tell me uh, what movie that's from. If it's from a movie at all. It's definitely from a movie. It's from Black Panther. When he says he'll never freeze. When talking about the, uh, the woman he has a crush on. And that man totally freezes when it happens. So, you know, when you see a shockingly beautiful woman and you're Black Panther, and you're like, oh, I'm fr you, you freeze. He froze. I forgot to switch to Luigi. Oh, man. How? Because I saw Mario's icon and I'm like, you know what? Anyways, we're going to switch to Luigi. So Luigi is different because he can jump higher. And he slides a little bit with his actions. So when he lands, it happens in almost every Mario game since uh, Mario Bros. 2, I believe. Like when he lands, he like he can't control his speed as much. And he'll kind of drift as far as I know. Um, I don't know if I can really notice it right here right now. But that's a thing I'm pretty sure is still actually a thing. Um, you know what? I probably should have done a switch to the light behind me for each of the different worlds and have it be a different color. But you know what that requires? Effort. And I totally forgot. So, oops. I will change it for next episode. I promise. And I'll find out what that, um... what the acorn tail pea thing is. You thought I forgot. You thought I forgot. And plot twist, I didn't. Yet. Keyword being yet. Oh, I kind of... Ah, we'll go for that coin. We'll go for that coin just out of concept, just because I see it over there, you know? Okay, so let's go over to here, and then wall jump, and there we go. Cool. Like, most of the time, if I see a coin, I'll go for it, but I'm not, like, overly driven. Like, I'm not going to reset a level to grab a coin. That's just not what I'm going to do. Um, there are definitely people out there who do indeed do that, but that is not my... Uh, my my way of playing games. Uh, the only games I have completed 100% recent. How did I mess that up? Um, games that I have completed 100% recently are Super Mario Odyssey, and that might be it. That honestly just might be it, and I'm okay with that. Some games I just don't feel the need to do 100%. Um, actually most games, because, okay, oh, I gotta go on this side, yep, I gotta go over here, because, um, like, it's probably all locked over there, there we go, um, luckily these guys aren't dropping down from the ceiling, I think there's, um, like, buzzy beetles, the blue ones in caves that actually end up doing that, like, they intentionally drop down and try to sabotage you, so... Luckily, we haven't encountered them yet, but, um, can I make it up there? Nope. Oh, I nearly made it there, too, but nope. Oopsies. Um, there we go. Nice. 
So what I'm doing also, keep this in mind, is I'm not shaking the Pro Controller every time. I'm using um, the ZR button to do the twirly thing. And that gives you a ton of... Um, no, I definitely use the, um, the the ice at that point, but whatever. Um, it gives you a, a really good uh, distance game when you're, uh, you know, going through platform to platform. So if you need just a little bit more of a jump, is there an item? Yes, there is. How smart am I? How smart am I? Wow. Oh, boy. There we go. Because there's usually an item or something around right before you're going to enter a boss area. Um... Because uh, you really need to master that little twirl. That twirl will will really help you out. And you don't need to shake it. It's just that button right there. Uh, same button if you're on the Joy-Con, too. So, Boom Boom gets a little bit of a upgrade. I was trying to think of a pun right there of like, Oh, Boom Boom, and like, he goes like, Boom Boom. I don't know. To signify it's an upgrade, but basically you defeat him the same way. Just wait for him to get up, and boobity boop. There you go. It's all done. Actually, yeah. let's change the background now. Even though uh, we are playing as Luigi, technically this is the fitting background for Luigi. Um, we will do red for Mario. So to si uh, signify, that's more like... Oh, that's Toadette. That's more red. There we go. So we swapped the episodes. We had... You know, green for Mario, red for or Luigi. Yeah, sure, cool. And it seems like this castle's getting more evil as time goes on, like little by little. So how are you gonna make it evil now? What are you gonna? You're gonna just put purple smog all around it. Great, that's helpful. Awesome, cool. So yeah, in case it couldn't get more sinister, uh, now there's black smog or purple smog. Uh, it could be black if you're colorblind. I think that's how being colorblind works. You can't see colors. If you are colorblind, let me know and know how it works. Because I don't have that. So here, uh, like enemies can go in your same relative direction and can kind of change up. It's kind of random. So the Goomba, I believe you can combo them to get a 1-up. So I'm going to try to do that. Um, um, two... Yep, and then, oh yep, yeah. nope, you can't do it. No, you couldn't do it, because you can only get up to 2,000. You need 8,000, then the next one is a 1-up. So we needed about four or five more to really make it worthwhile for a 1-up. But uh, colorblindness is a weird thing that, I, I mean, it weird is uh, subjective, because I've always been able to see, like, you know, all colors of the rainbow all the time. But I, I, I notice that, like, in some games, there's a colorblind mode, which to me actually reduces the colors on screen, so I don't really understand that. I, I've never met anybody who's actually colorblind. No, I, I have. I No, I totally have. I absolutely have. I just forget who. And I don't know the, to the extent that they are colorblind. So if you, if you are, like, I would love to know... Wow, I just totally negated that one there, too. Um... I would love to know what that feels like, because, like, that that seems like a... Just, like, it's a thing I'm unfamiliar with. So, okay. Oh, I think I just got zero one-ups, right? Out of, the, out of the ping pong balls? Yep. Okay, cool. So, I got the one-ups in regard to the coins, but not on the, uh, the bingo balls. So, oh well. That's fine. So, I'm going to go over here. And now Hammer Bro is not going to encounter me. And so we have uh, two more levels. Three more levels, actually, after the Red Mushroom Hut. So it seems like this area... Oh, this one's tough. So you need to keep in mind three different things that you want. The item, the quantity, and you need a toad instead of a Bowser one to actually uh, get what you want. So I'm going to go with um, this guy. Nope. I guess, y yeah, you are good. Nope, okay. Um, I think you have a mushroom, and then I don't care what the quantity is. That's fine. Oh, there we go. That's actually exactly what I wanted. Cool. Because the Super Crown isn't usable with anybody except Toadette. So if we're not going to be using Toadette that often, or only every once in a while, then I don't really care about getting Super Crowns. 
Um, and the deal with these star men, or the, the star, whatever, um, is this six? That's four. Okay, yeah, so we'll go with four first. Um, I think the first appearance of Spike in a game, maybe. I heard that. I'm not sure if that's actually true, but I believe it. Um, because Spike is a relatively new character who is in more games than you would think, actually. He's in Mario Tennis Aces and Mario Party. And does he deserve to be there? Well, that's up for you to decide. But, um, yeah, I don't really care for having a ton of Super Crowns in our inventory. Because, I mean, basically, once you run out of space, you're basically out of space. And that's it. Like, it's not like you... Oh, I need to go underneath here. Um, it's not like you can extend your inventory ever. You can't. So, yeah, if you run out of space, you're basically done. And with the star... Like, I don't really need the invincibility because the invincibility only lasts, like, a couple of seconds at the beginning of the level. Then it just goes away. So it's like, all right, do I really need that first, you know, five seconds of invin- Not five seconds, but pretty much five seconds. That must be the exit of invincibility. Or can I just, you know, do something else and you know, keep something else in my inventory that's a little bit more useful, like a mushroom or a fire flower. Like, the fire flowers, ice flowers, um, the propeller suit when we could have it, but uh, the acorn suits, those are by far more valuable to me than any um, star is. And they treat the star like it's a super big important deal, which it kind of is, but I don't really care for it that much, like I just said about 5,000 times. Oh, we can sneak underneath there? Interesting, okay. Um, but, oh, I totally was not paying attention. Because you can see the coins go underneath that pillar that was over there. So, must have been a more secret way of going about that. Um, oh, we got the checkpoint, so we're good. So, maybe from a checkpoint, it would be a bit more useful, but like a star, I'm like, eh. Whatever. Doesn't matter to me. So. Oh, wow. Okay. That is my lack of uh, preparation. And uh, not being in the zone, as they say. So, what I'm going to do, just to clear out some of our items, I am going to use a star. Um, and I'm going to use a mushroom. Because, like, I could go this entire game without using any of them. But, like, I don't really care about that. I'd rather use them and, like, showcase them and whatever. So, I don't know. I'm not too fixated on certain parameters for this playthrough and whatever. I just want to, you know, get it done and have fun. So, that's what it's all about with me, man. Oh, oh wow. Okay. The thing also, you got to keep in mind with video games in general. You are good until you're not. And there will be a moment where you're like, wow. I am just awful today, and I can't, I can't do this, and sometimes it's just not the day, it's just, it's getting to be about that point, where it's just not the day, and you need to take a break, and that's totally okay, uh, what I have found is after you are done, you know, playing a, a set amount of levels, and you keep getting stuck on one particular thing, you come back to it a couple hours or a day or whatever later, and you're going to be able to do it and defeat it like it was nothing. So sometimes you just need a second to uh, not be around whatever you're trying to defeat and do. Just kind of have to give it a rest a little bit there. How do I get under there? I can't really tell. Um, is it a secret entrance thing that I'm unaware... Oh, he turned back into an actual Koopa. Okay, is it under here? No? Okay. I don't know. Whatever. I don't want to risk another biscuit if I could please. Thank you. And there we go. Nice. All right. And okay. That was a bit too risky. He turned into a Koopa again? He's popped back out of his shell. You can see him wiggle a little bit. Then he turns into the Koopa again. Wow. Come on, give me a break. I'll go with the acorn suit. Whatever. I want to... Come on, Batman. Let's get grooving. Let's move. Let's let's go. 
Let's go make this money happen. Oh, and if you're really garbage, you can get help. <laughs> Mario, show you a sample run. I'm not going to do that right now. But yeah, if you die enough, then you will basically get a... Um, wow, I'm trash. Um, you'll get a little mini guide. Uh, a little outline of Mario that will guide you through the entire level. Through the entire level. And uh, just make it that much easier for you. I have not actually used that myself. And there is no shame in you using it yourself. Um, it just makes things a little bit easier for you. So if you feel you need it, go for it. Whatever. It's fine. And I believe I've I tried it once just to use it. And it basically goes throughout the entire level. And then whenever you want to, you can pick up and you know finish the level off yourself. And I don't think it will, it won't impact your score. It won't, it won't take anything away from you at all. But I don't believe they'll have you go after all the different uh, coins and bonus areas and all that. It'll basically get you from point A to point B as quickly as can be. So here's little mini spikes that uh, throw directly down. Uh, let's see here. I want to grab this thing here because why not it's right there like yeah if I can see the coin then yeah sure but otherwise Wow because otherwise Wow huh luckily we're not using Luigi after this uh, world so and if I really start to do bad I'll edit stuff out but I'm gonna go as much as I can without editing anything and just just going you know going for it just absolutely going for it so the way it works also is with um, with coins, it will keep track of your coins. And let's say you fail at a level and you uh, got a coin, it will it'll only like give you credit for. Wow, okay. Um, it'll only give you credit for the coin if you hit a checkpoint. So once I have that coin and then I hit a checkpoint, it'll actually still register the coin even if I die and exit the level. So that's good at least. I don't have to get all three coins flawlessly in one run and be done it can um totally be as many times as it uh as need be so yeah now if i die i'll always have one coin and even if i go you know play another level after this it still registers as one coin being the thing there so cool grab that second one and now that we have the acorn suit and i'm not messing up horrendously it's actually working out fairly nicely in my favor. I'm not going after the green thing. I don't care. I don't care. I love it. I love it. I don't care. Um, there's a special uh, block that'll give you a one-up or a star or whatever. Pow block. Toss it. Boom. Oh, I messed it up. Okay. But no, not really. At least I have the acorn suit. Glide on down. And perfect landing. Nice. Cool ground pound to make the descent faster now we have all three coins wonderful and I'm just gonna okay that's what I get for trying to be risky risky like risky reels in Fortnite even though this isn't Fortnite and I don't care that's fine we don't need to do fancy schmancy it's all good exactly that's exactly how I feel is few I made it so, clearly that level was a little bit easier than the last one, at least for me, right now. We have one more level, and then Morton Koopa! I think just now, I'm learning all the Koopaling names. Before, I didn't know any of them, but I think Smash has uh, definitely gotten me more familiar with each of the names, because they're all the different outfits in the game. Like, instead of Bowser Jr. having, like, oh, you know, his, um... His form. Oh, Lakitu. Lakitu. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Um, we can actually get inside that cloud. Oh, come on. Come on. Um, if I can just make this happen. Oh, I really want to get in that cloud, dude. I really want your cloud. I really want it. And you can, like, bypass the whole level and go to, like, secret areas and all that. But, like, you can fly right up to where those coins are. And that's probably where another one of those uh, big coins is, so... Um, but yeah, instead of having the outfit from Mario Sunshine where he's got the, um, like, the bib and the, the airbrush or the brush and all that, and instead of having something cool like that, we just get the Koopalings, which is 
I guess okay. I guess it's fine. There we go. We got the power up we lost. Right back again. Oh, actually. Oh, that solved the problem. Cool. So now we can just fly up. Cool. And there we go. There's our little secret area. And that's another coin. Um, let's see here. I'm just gonna take that and I'm gonna leave. Don't even care about the coins, because the coins are you know, a dime a dozen. Or less or more, or I don't know how you would properly phrase that really. Oh cheese, I'm taking you. Hi, Cloud. Uh the cloud does not last the entire level, by the way, and I missed the third. Really? Okay. That's weird. Um, the cloud doesn't last the entire level, too. It does fade away at some point, so you can't bypass the entire level and do that whole thing. You gotta actually time it out properly. It'll, like, flicker. The cloud will flicker and then go away, so... I don't think the cloud has a name. That'd be an another interesting fact for you. Um, Morton's. Uh, Compactor Castle. Like a trash compactor. Except more deadly. Actually, maybe equal amount is deadly. I don't know. You don't want to mess around with the trash compactor. Those can be very dangerous. But luckily, they're not very common. Not many people have them in their homes. It's more so if you... Okay. Okay. I thought I could somehow bypass under there. Um, if you, like, work at the mall and have to deal with the trash compactor. Which is exactly what I did um, during my time at the Lego store. They have this massive trash compactor that you have to deal with. Can I really not go in there? Wow, okay. Uh, but I can go over here. What's this? Ooh, there's the secret. Ooh. Ooh. There it is. Nice. Cool. Oh, I'm so close. So close. Come on. Oh, really? One coin away? Come on. Come on. So, so close. Two coins. That's all I need. Um... But it's basically this device, device, it's like a massive monster of a machine that will take cardboard and just scrunch it every single time. And it is super, super like loud and just, just really awful. Um, I always disliked going down there, uh, passionately disliked, not hated, but passionately disliked going down there because um, it's always, I got compacted. I got compacted. Um, I'd go down there during, like, the winter times. And it's, like, frigid cold. Like, it's frigid cold right now. Uh, it's super, super cold. But, um, I'd go down there and, like, you basically... The, the crunching motion takes, like, a solid two minutes every time. So if you have a ton of cardboard after you get, like, a lot of shipment of Lego boxes, it'll take forever to, um, to get that done and wow I try to go for the coin uh, I guess I'll have to go down like the old-fashioned way I thought you had to slip through the middle there but how many lives I got by the way I'm down to five okay and so what happens when you die I don't anticipate on dying like getting a game over but you basically you know you lose all your lives and then you basically just restart the level or you restart your save point I forget which one it is uh, those are two very different instances right there. Oh, mamma mia. Come on. Uh, do I really want this coin that badly? Is it coin number two or three? I forget. It's number... Nabbit? Gosh. Darn it, Nabbit. You're back there again. Darn tootin'. It's number three. I gotta go for number three. It's the last one. And it's not hard to get. I'm just being... I'm just rushing. Just rushing like a dummy. Come on. All right. Grab. I'm waiting for you to pass. Pass. There we go. Grab you. Okay. I will continue my train of thought momentarily. Let me just uh, get this coin. There we go. There we go. Please work. Make the dream work. There we go. Oh, there it is. Look at that. Look how good I am at this game. Yay. There we go. Green, I don't care. Because your reward isn't going to be worth it. Come on. Let's just go. Oh, really now? Really, faux cheesy. Yo, cheesy. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, nope. That's getting risky biscuits. R risky biscuits. All right. So I got to aim for wherever it's gold. Come on. Right there. Boom. There we go. I don't get crushed like the trash at the Lego store. Oh, mm, that was so close. Why do I do this to myself and risk it? And there we go. Jump. Nice. And now, not in there yet. Not yet. There we go. Grab that. And, oh boy, there it is. And now, we enter the domain of one Morton Koopa. And see what uh, Mr. Morty... Morty. Oh, that's from Rick and Morty. That's a very uh, not family-friendly show. And a show I actually... I, I will say that I hate that show. I don't hate many things in life. That show is one of them. But Mr. Morton here, he has a hammer. Uh, not Similar to Thor's hammer. Um, but, oh, jeez. So I can't destroy it. Okay. Okay. Sure. Um, okay. And boop. There we go. Okay. So I'm pretty sure we can do the same thing we did with Lemmy before. And just boop him on the head. But I don't know if that's going to actually... Yes, it is possible. Okay, cool. So just wait right next to him and boop him on the head. Now, he should land the third time over here. So, yes, exactly. Boom. There you go. Because otherwise, if you wait for those uh, uh, pokies to keep coming back, you're going to be here forever. And you're just going to waste more time and more lives in, in case you die right there. And the acorn suit would be especially helpful right there. Not the fire flower. But, anyways... Morn Koopa goes Kabluma. Boom. There it is. We're not going to go after Nabbit because we're done with World 2, at least for now. I may go back eventually, but I like ending the episode with the castle being cleared. The Dido's flag has been uh, uh, risen to the top of the castle. We're going to save the game. And the next area, we can either go up or down to Frosted Glacier or Sparkling Waters. Well, we're going to do both anyways, but we're going to go to the Frosted Glacier. Uh, we can switch between the two, I believe. So we're going to go to Frosted Glacier. That is World 3. I believe that's the proper World 3. Then the one below it is World 4. But I think you can... You only have to do one. You don't have to do both. But we're going to do both. Uh, defeat all of the Koopalings. And uh, Wendy Koopa is the next boss coming up. But I want to thank you guys and girls. Oh, no, no, no. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening, watching, and tuning in, as always, to New Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe on the Nintendo Switch. If you want to see more, tune in, because it's going good so far. But I'm going to go take a break, because my eyes are killing me, and clearly I'm losing that magic touch for platforming right now. So I'll talk to you next time. Peace out. Bye.